everyone, welcome back to another video of Terraria. I've got to go ahead and get straight into this because uh, it's nighttime, and as you can tell from the title, it needs to be nighttime. So I'm not even going to look or do any preparations or anything because I think I've got everything. Wait. Yep, I've got Abigail. Okay, so as you can probably tell from the title, I am going to fight the Eye of Cthulhu today. And I only have one suspicious looking eye. Speaking of, I forgot that. The one thing I needed, I forgot. Wow, that is very classic. But um, I am headed towards uh, the corruption right now. Um, I might fight the Eye of Cthulhu there because I don't. I really don't feel like building another arena. Where is this? It's going to be in summoning items, right? Uh, right here. Uh, no. Wait, what, where did I put my eye of Cthulhu? Oh, wait, wait it's in this per in this uh, in this chest. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Um, yes, I want to go to an arena that I've already built. I was thinking the corruption uh, or the dungeon. The corruption's closer, but it's just starting nighttime, as you can see the moon in the top left corner. Um, but I need to go to the corruption before I go to any of these arenas for a different reason because I've been doing some research on the altars, the demon altars and the crimson altars. If you're in the blood biome, the crimson biome, uh, and apparently. They're crafting stations that can be used to craft boss summoning items, which is very cool. Like, see here, we need a suspicious looking eye to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, and we only need lens to craft that. We can get other things too, so we're going to craft two of these so we can fight the boss three times. Hopefully we can get it all done tonight, uh, but if not, then I guess we won't be fighting, uh, fighting it tonight. It's okay. If that happens, I've got another plan uh, to fulfill the rest of the day. Also, I'd like to give a little mention out to... Oh, good old Saint Nick because I am recording this on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas everybody or happy Hanukkah, uh, happy holidays, whatever you uh, whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever. Uh, I personally uh, do Christmas even though I'm not really, I'm not religious. So, uh, but I mean, it's fun. No matter what you do, it's all fun. Um, I also figured out what the candy canes are for too. They replace health and uh, the sugar plums replace mana. Uh, but let's get started. Let's go ahead and summon the Cthulhu. Two, 2,800 health. Uh, I have I actually not prepared for this. Um, you can only fight this during night. And here he is. Oh my god. We're just getting straight into it because I've got no time to spare. As soon as it becomes day, then I can kind of kind of chill and relax a little bit. Let's, let's use our new blue moon that we got from the last uh, episode in the dungeon. Go ahead and check that out if you have not already. I plan on going to the dungeon a little bit more in the future because... Um, uh, we haven't explored all of it. We actually barely scratched the surface of it because we died so much. The dungeon is extremely hard, but the rewards are worth it. And what is the Akathulu doing? Oh my god! He's become a mouth, the eyes become a mouth, and the brain has become a heart. What's next? <laughs> I don't know. Are we going to fight like the nose that becomes like a foot or something? I don't know. But um, we seem to be doing good. He doesn't seem to be too hard. I think we could definitely kill him three times. I want to kill him three times just because um, I want to see who the better better being is. And there we go. I of Cthulhu has been defeated. We got some gold. Un Wait, what was that? What arrows? Unholy arrows, 12 range damage. They, okay, they looked like to be some corruption arrows. We also got some demonite from that. All right, so the Eye of Cthulhu, it's like one of the very first bosses in the game, um, which means it doesn't have a lot of health, but it is good for demonite. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I don't know if we need demonite or not, uh, but it's good to have. Better to have it and not need it. So, uh, oh my god, got a, got a little bit of lag there. It is about time. It's about midnight, so let's summon the second Eye of Cthulhu. Oh my god, there's a meteorite in the background too. Is there? Does that mean there's another meteorite coming to our world? That's another thing that happened last time. I completely forgot about that. There was a meteorite that spawned a second one. So we can go there. I don't know if... Um, oh my god, yes, another meteorite has landed. Jeez, that is our third meteorite in this world. Oh my... How unlucky or lucky... I mean, is that lucky or is it unlucky? I mean, it's lucky for us because we get meteorite ore. Um... And we can farm meteor heads. I don't know if that has a purpose, but it all, but it can also be seen as unlucky because, I mean, like meteorites landing on the world. I have no idea what astronomical events are occurring here. I don't know if this is being done on purpose or not. But we got ourselves a third meteor right here, which I'm excited to go and explore. That um, wow, I'm not doing I'm not doing great at dodging, but it's a good thing that we've just killed them for the second time. We got some more unholy arrows, corrupt seeds, no demonite this time. Oh, never mind. I got some demonite. All right, well. Um, we might as well just go ahead and start the third one, too. Jeez. Um, yeah, so the other thing that I have planned, I guess I, um, I won't be needing to wait another night. Um, 
Yeah, the other thing I have planned is uh, exploring the right side of my world all the way to the end of the map. I've explored the left side. Uh, I can't exactly get everything under the water. I haven't explored all that. I know that you can get like chests and seashells and all that, but um, I haven't done that yet just because I can't. I need some sort of thing. I need I need a way to get back up in time, um, but we could try and do that. But I want to go to the right side of the map as well and uh, explore that right side and this is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be jeez oh, all right well um that's done <laughs> what now you know what? let's look at our map for a minute can we see where the second meteorite has landed doesn't look like it landed anywhere over here uh I'm being attacked by a stupid eyeball okay and there's another worm here I should probably get out of the corruption I got some more presents so oh, I should probably open up some presents too since that is a limited time event um, where is this other meteorite? The first one was here in the snow biome. Um, I'm not seeing the second one. Could it be here, maybe? Nah, it, it can't be there. So it's gotta be on the right side of the map, somewhere where we haven't explored. So let's go ahead, let's, uh, recall pushing home. I totally forgot to take out Abigail. My bad, Abigail. I need to give you some more love than I actually do, because you're a lot of help. Um, I think we're fine. I don't think we need to drop our stuff off. Actually, you know what? No, let's open our presents at the end of the video. Why not? Because we're going to get a ton more anyway throughout. Uh, we got ourselves a slime here as well. And the angler is another thing that we need to do. We need to go fishing. We have a quest to go fish uh, somewhere in the jungle biome uh, to get some weird fish that he likes. I don't know what he'll reward us, but um, I have no idea how long it'll take. Maybe it'll take like 30 minutes. Maybe it'll take like two hours. I don't know how long it'll take. I'll have to do some research on that. Um, but yeah, let's go explore the right side of the world. I think the, uh, the most we've explored this way is the jungle. And we barely even uh, went into that biome. Like, because we, we wanted to go to the underground jungle, which is great for life hearts, um, which is also another thing we need to do uh, before we like do anything else because we are running low on hearts. Um, we need to find life hearts. I want to explore the rest of this. Maybe we'll find a biome as well that we can explore. Of course, I'm not going to go into like the caves or anything because uh, I like to have uh, these biome spotlight videos um, that, that are just focused on all the exclusives and all that. And oh, here we go. Here's the meteorite. Okay, I'm actually curious. Will my meteor suit uh, be immune to the fire? Uh, no, it is not. That just does not make sense. Oh god. Oh god. I'm going to die here. Yep. Okay, I didn't realize that there was no dirt there. Well, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, Meteorite just doesn't show up underneath the surface. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we found one Meteorite. You dropped five gold. That's a lot of gold. Speaking of which, let's just uh, let's drop all of our things that we don't need in here. And I keep forgetting that it drops Abigail and the summoning items because we've already got one. So, that I got to remember not to do that. <laughs> uh, but we, we're going to go ahead and head back there. We're going to collect our gold again because that is actually a lot of gold. We can purchase a few things with that. Um, and uh, I want to continue exploring... Maybe we'll find this, this, the third meteorite uh, over here <laughs> somewhere. And maybe there'll be a fourth by the end of the video. I'm not even sure. All right, so how are we going to get this uh, this gold down here? I guess we can kind of mine our way down a little bit. Do we have any blocks in us? Uh, the one time we don't take any blocks. Well, I mean, we do have rope, so I guess we can use that. I need to get a little closer, though. Um, let's see. Let's mine down a little bit so I can land on this dirt. Okay, that's not good. Oh god, okay, uh, this is not good. Let's just get on this rope right here. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was thinking there, but, I mean, at least I collected the gold. Let's take some blocks with this next time, so, uh, we can actually build and create platforms and all that. Let's just go ahead and go down here. This is already not good. I think I was on Santa's naughty list this year. I don't know what I did, uh, but let's bring some platforms. That'll be good. Let's head back again. I want to uh, themify these people, uh, the town's NPCs, rooms as well. There are some more NPCs that we can get in the future too, um, but we haven't exactly unlocked them yet. I think uh, we'll get into Terraria's full potential as soon as we go into hard mode. So I think I'm going to make it my goal to kind of get there as quickly as possible because that's where all the good stuff comes in. Um, and more bosses will be able to get unlocked. And we just got ourselves yet another giant bow. Um, <clears throat> if we get into hard mode... Well, I'll, we'll unlock Trey's full potential, stuff will be unlocked, and uh, we can fight every single boss in the game, progress even further. Um, I was also looking at uh, weapons and, and armor and all that, and um, I, the best armor right now is uh, armor that you get in the Underworld, which uh, I guess I'll be planning a trip to the Underworld. It's got like 25 armor stats on it. Um, 
So I guess we'll be going there, uh, and that's a lot better, and I think that is actually the best armor you can get in pre-hard mode. Um, and also, in the Underworld, you can uh, fight the, uh, what is it, the Wall of Flesh, uh, and if you defeat that, your world goes into hard mode. Uh, so that'll be the very last boss that we fight out of all the pre-hard mode bosses. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I want to go down to the Underworld at some point and uh, maybe collect that armor too. Um, and get some Underworld things. Um, so yeah, we'll be planning a trip pretty soon down to the Underworld. Although it will take a while, I'll be mining a lot. So that might be a series of videos, just, just me doing that. Um, so if you want to see that, then uh, like the video and subscribe and you'll see it pretty soon in the future once we get fully equipped for this. I honestly think we are fully equipped for it. Uh, just because we've got like the best armor we can get the only improvement like there's only two improvements and uh, that is the Platinum armor uh, Which isn't really an improvement. It's like one uh, more armor stat um, In total and it doesn't even give any buffs or anything So I, I think I'd prefer the shadow armor um, and then in terms of weapons uh, the what is it called the Knight's Edge? I think is the best one and you need like four different swords to craft that and the blood butcher is one of them But we need to find the other ones somewhere else uh, and it seems to be we are at the edge of where we last uh, explored all of this is new territory from now on so let's see how far the jungle expands um i think we'll be going down into the underground jungle pretty soon too there's just so many things we need to do i it's just like there's too much and i can't keep up with it and we're not even in hard mode yet um so when we get into hard mode there's gonna be so many other things to do as well there's a piranha in the water it's already crazy <laughs> Oh look, we even encountered another pinky right here. I think this is like the rarest slime maybe, I don't know. I know that it's so rare that there's an achievement on it. I've already killed pinky like so many times, I don't even know how many times, but um, yeah, uh, pinky is like a, a rare slime, uh, has a lot of health and bounces everywhere. They're pretty easy to get, even if you have a wooden sword. I, you can kill them pretty easily. There's a piranha in here, I wanna be careful of that. Is there a bat following me? Seriously, he's committed. He's committing to following me, he's tracking me down. Um, this jungle seems to go on forever, though. These uh, blue plants around here are just decoration. I tried to destroy them. They're nothing. In case anybody was wondering, because I know I was. Um, doesn't really seem to be, like, a lot of interesting things here, though. It's really, it's really just a bunch of nothing. But how far does this go? We've already explored so much of it. I think the jungle started right here. All of this has been jungle. That is a huge jungle biome. And, I'm, and, it, and it's still going. Oh, and it looks like we found the second, or third, sorry, meteorite crash uh, with more meteor heads. I want to know if farming meteor heads gets you anything. I know it gets you banners, but I mean, I guess it might be a good way of getting you money, but is there really a point to farming meteor heads? I'm not even sure. I'm not going to mine it for now. I'll mine it later. Uh, just so we have a place for meteor heads spawn. Um, and it looks like we're finally out of the jungle. That was the biggest jungle I've ever seen in my life. But what is this area? It looks like some sort of, some nice flat area. I, I wanna say like a, like, you know a place where like there's pink trees and all that? Like, uh, like these, uh, uh, you mostly see them in like Japanese stuff. Oh God, um, I almost just killed myself. Um, yeah, like, you know, like pink trees and all that? I don't know what they're called, like uh, cherry trees maybe? Uh, I think that might be called with like pink leaves and all that. It looked a little bit like that uh, with the log on the floor. You see it in like Japanese stuff and anime. Um, I don't know. I don't really watch anime, so I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm, what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, and it looks like there's another corruption here, which is not good. We're also running out of rope as well, which is also not good. Um, but the good news is we can one shot the eater of souls. So that's, that's real. That's good news. And there's no banners even around here. So the corruption is just child's play for us now. But these death weeds are still annoying. Looks like there's a chest here for us too. We can go ahead and loot that. Maybe there'll be something good in it. Uh, garden guide to plant fiber cordage. I think we already have that. We got some glow sticks, some iron bars. Uh, some more rope too. Builder potion, nice. Some more recall and some more healing. We will take all of that and we'll also take the chest too. Um, because I always take the chest. You guys already know why. Oh my god, I just got stuck inside that slime. Uh, and there's a giant hole right here. I think we're actually nearing the edge of the world, yeah. So I wonder if there's going to be another NPC at the beach here. I don't think there will be. 
Um, but at least we can collect some more seashells and all that, and that is a huge drop. I don't know why I just did that, but I didn't take damage, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. We got some more corrupt torches as well, um, which we which we can add to our collection. Is there an NPC with like a purple theme to them that we could put that in? I guess there's the dye trader who's got kind of like purple clothing. But is there like an NPC that we can find in like the corruption and all that? I don't know. I think we're going to use the Corrupt Torches uh, for the Die Trader when we themify his room. Don't know what we're going to use the Ice Torches for, but it looks like we're at the beach now. I'm just going to go all the way just to satisfy my OCD and uh, explore every single little bit of the map. There we go. Yep. Seems like we got it right there. Is there going to be any other chests here? Oh my god, this goes down really far. There's a cave right here. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Doesn't look like there's that. Oh god, we need to get out. We need to get out. Come on, I have flippers so I can just spam space to get out of here. It looks like I think I'm I think I'm gonna get out of here. That's fine. Doesn't look like there's any chest or anything though. Unless it's just too dark for me to see. I think there was like a chest on the other side too. I don't know. Let's let's try this again. Let's throw a glow stick down this time. And see what happens. Yeah. I don't think there's any chest or anything. Let's throw a few glow sticks down here. Um anything? Oh my god, the glow sticks are getting out of sight. I don't think there's any chests. So I think this is the the sad the sad ocean. Okay, uh, that, that's what this is called, but it looks like we're to drown now. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, get to the surface. Get to the surface. Oh my god, we're losing hearts. We're losing two. I, I don't know how, what the rate is. We're losing two at a time, so that's not good. There's a seagull here. Please don't take my food from me. Okay, no, you're good. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the beach. There doesn't seem to be uh, anything. Just palm trees, so we're going to go ahead and collect this, and then I think... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do after this. <laughs> Alright, well, everything on the beach has been collected. All the trees, all the shells. So, I think, um, now that we've explored the entire map, we need to explore this bottom part of the ocean, but we can do that another time. This side didn't really have anything. Just this cave that looks pretty interesting. I don't know why that's there, but it is. Uh, so, but yeah, that's the entire surface explored. It actually looks kind of good we, with that death mark that we where we died and our home right here. We should probably create another home uh, for NPC happiness because I know that they prefer, uh, or some NPCs prefer different biomes, but we're going to go ahead and go home. Um, this one is kind of a shorter video, I think. I'm not... I'm not sure. I, I did talk a lot on this one, uh, but it was mostly just like kind of like future plans. Uh, we did make the Aya Cthulhu our boss, like not our boss. Uh, who's we showed the Aya Cthulhu who's boss? I don't I don't want to say the the word right there, <laughs> but um, yeah, we got some we got some stuff. We got ourselves a, another chest. Got some more potions, some more iron, uh, and just uh, just pretty much some other stuff. We did get some bananas, and I don't think we have that, do we? Uh, it would be, it would not be in gardening. It would be in consumables. Uh, no, we do not. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. Um, so yeah, um, that's what we did. I have no idea what we're gonna do next time. So leave any suggestions for what you want me to do in terms of adventuring, exploring, uh, killing bosses, whatever. Just leave a comment suggesting what you think I should do next and I might do it in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see some more Terraria content, then go ahead and leave a like on the video. You can also subscribe to this channel to see some more content just like this. It's absolutely free and you won't miss a thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Merry Christmas guys and Happy New Year. Bye bye.